Welcome back to Don's Life, welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. Today's episode is brought to you by Avalon King. We've got this ceramic coating Armor Shield 9 that we're going to apply to my BMW. I've got some wrap plans for my GMC Sierra AT4, so we're gonna eventually wanna try it out on that. So that'll be a future video. But for today's, because this wrap is brand, brand new, we need to protect it. So we're gonna try this product out, let's go. So you probably know what ceramic coating is by now, but if you don't, I'll give you a quick 101. Essentially your substrate, so your surface, whether it be vinyl, the clear coat on this carbon fiber, whether it be paint, if you were to look at a cross section of it, it would have inconsistencies, pits and valleys, high spots, low spots, and essentially dirt, grime, contaminants of all kinds start to build up in there and then you lose the gloss of your finish, that type of thing. So what this is going to do is once you've cleaned all that stuff out, is it's going to add a protective layer, make it perfectly smooth. So all those contaminants have nothing to stick to, whether it be mud, dirt, snow, ice, rain, bird poop, bug guts, whatever it might be, they're gonna to tend to not have anything to attach to and just slide off. This will also create that ultra hydrophobic layer. So you're not gonna get the water spots and things like that when you get rained on, wash your car, you'll be able to dry it off much easier because a lot of that will just sheet or bead and wash off on its own. Now, because I recently wrapped this car, everything's been decontaminated. I didn't need the clay bar or anything again to apply this, but you may need to. There's lots of videos on how to uh, decontaminate your paint and get that uh, ready to apply ceramic coat finish that you need. So the only prep I need is make sure the car is washed and make sure you have no water in any of the creases or anything. This has been in the garage parked for several days. Any water that may have existed has long since evaporated but I'm going to clean every panel with 70% isopropyl alcohol just to make sure that I've got no grease or residue of any kind. That way we get the best result possible. All right, she's all wiped down. You saw the contents in the box, but we'll go over them quickly. So first, you want to put on the provided gloves. I'm assuming they're a one size fits all, but these are pretty tight, but they'll do. Okay, they give you three of these applicator cloths. You wanna take one of them and you wanna wrap it around your applicator sponge. Now it says here, you wanna keep this armor shield facing up and then you use this card to tuck the cloth in on the sides. And so it stays nice and tight wrapped around. They give you multiple application cloths because they will crystallize over time and you get too much material or product in there. So it's a good idea to switch them out as needed. Now you gotta shake it up, shake it up well. Before I put this on and we get started, you need to know the temperature in the room as you're applying it. So in here, it's about 60 degrees. So that's gonna give me about two to three minutes till it starts to dry before I need to buff it out. If it was cooler in here, say 50 degrees, that'd give me four or five minutes. If it's much warmer, say 70 degrees, then I'd only have about a minute after applying it in the pattern before it starts to dry and then I'd have to wipe it off. So we wanna get this nice and wet in a minute. And the pattern we're gonna use is a back and forth pattern like this. And because the hood is larger, I'm gonna break it up into quadrants. And then I'll go this way. And then I'll buff it out and then I'll start another section, another section, another section. For smaller panels, if I can do it quick enough, I could go and do this whole fender like this in that way and then buff it out. For a door, I might only do half. Then the other half, I'm gonna do this fender up to here, do this as a piece, do the trunk lid as a piece, you get the idea. Now, when it comes to some of my trim, like the carbon fiber here, I'd probably just do that separate. I'm not gonna be able to get this applicator in there. It's really skinny, so I'm gonna to have to take it off and just wipe it with the rag and then buff in behind. I'll do my mirror caps. I'm not going to do my roof. Although it's carbon fiber, it would be great to protect it with this, but I'm getting that PPF soon. So I want the PPF on there first and not trying to stick to the carbon ceramic coating. 
that's probably lots. And we'll get started. You want to make sure you have good lighting so you can get a sense of where you've been by seeing it look a little bit wet. So I'll probably actually do this in three pieces. And I'm not lifting at the ends because I want to make sure I get proper coverage. I've done ceramic coating before, so I have a little bit of experience. Now I'm going to go this way, essentially covering all the areas I've already been on, but just with a different pattern. That way I get proper coverage. And if it starts to dry on you in one of the spots, you can just add a little more product and that'll kind of reconstitute it and let you kind of recover the area and then go and buff it out after. Okay, so we're gonna set a timer for three minutes. Depending on your finish, it'll start to look kind of like an oil slick. You'll have kind of that rainbowish effect. I can't really tell on my finish, so I'm just going to give it a wipe. You don't have to push too hard. Flip, keep flipping the rag. Probably we'll do it. Now we'll do that area and then we'll do the front. Okay, the hood's done. Now on to the rest of the panels. All right, the armor shield has been applied to most of the car. You could do the windows. I might do that down the road. Like I said, I'm not doing the top. That's getting PPF'd. I didn't do the front lip because that's getting PPF'd, but I've done everything else. You can do the headlights. I did the mirrors. I did all the carbon fiber trim. I didn't do the wheels. I'm going to be putting my summer wheels back on. This needs four hours to cure. I could put it out in the sunlight, but we don't have any, so it's going to stay in here where it's warm. I don't want to get it wet though for 48 hours. I could still drive it if needed, but don't get it wet for 48 hours. So we're going to fast forward to 48 hours from now. All right, it's 48 hours later. We are going to apply some water to the finish and see what happens to it. Now, hydrophobic means it should repel liquids. So the surface tension now should be at its lowest because we got that nice protective armor shield on there. So as I pour this, we should see the majority of the water bead off. Depending how much I put, it might come off in sheets. Of course, there's gonna be little dots here and there just because they're not necessarily at a sharp enough angle to like roll off of anything. But let's see what happens. Look at that. It works great. Let's come look at this fender here. You can see the water just wants to take off. Let's have a look at the carbon trim. I did these mirrors. It just comes right off. Overall, I'm pretty happy. I only applied one coat of Armor Shield 9 to my BMW M4. You can easily apply two, maybe three coats for even better results. But I wanted to save some because I plan on doing the entire truck, but I have some vinyl plans for my Sierra AT4. I want to install the vinyl first, 
before I go and ceramic coat everything. So stay tuned for that video. Again, thank you to Avalon King for sending out Armor Shield 9. Thank you for sending me this really nice wash mitt. I can't wait to use it on all my vehicles. Definitely check out the link in the description below for your Avalon King products. Maybe you want some ceramic coat, Armor Shield 9. Maybe you want a nice wash mitt like this, or maybe a nice drying towel. Anyway, if you liked today's video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing. We'll talk to you next time.